Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Steam Fun. Today we're making exploding gelatin volcanoes. So for this activity, you're probably gonna need an adult because we are using hot water to create our gelatin. Uh, so I'm gonna go grab our supplies, find Miss Meg, and we're gonna get started. So today, because we're inside and we can't social distance, Miss Carolina and I are wearing our masks, so, but we'll try to be loud so you can hear us. The first step for gelatin volcanoes is making the, the volcano. Yes. So we have to make the gelatin. So you can use any kind of gelatin you want at the store, but it's you might need some help with the first part because you have to have boiling water. So you're just gonna follow the instructions on the box, but the first step and you're gonna half the water. So the box says to use a cup of boiling water and a cup of cold water. But to make the gelatin a little firmer, we're gonna cut that in half. So half a cup of boiling water with the gelatin mix first. So I'm gonna yes. dump the gelatin mix into our bowl. And we are using a lime gelatin today, but we're not eating it, so don't eat this. All right, and then we're gonna use half a cup of boiling water, so you might need Mom or dad's help with this part, please be careful. All right, so half a cup. So you mix the gelatin mix and the boiling water until it's all dissolved. I'm gonna start doing that. Ooh, very lime smelling. So while Miss Meg is doing that, I'm gonna show you how to make your volcano form. So if you have a funnel at home like this, this is what you can use to make your volcano. And if you have clay, you're going to use it to stop the hole. So you're going to put it in the hole so that the, ge the gelatin doesn't go through. All right. I think most of my powder from the gelatin is mixed in with the boiling water. So the next step is to add half a cup of cold water. So I mean, I have that in this other measuring cup. I'm gonna pour that in while Miss Carolina gets the clay into the funnel, and then you mix that together. So that's what it kind of it should look like. So you can't see the hole anymore. All right. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on it so it doesn't. Yeah. Do the We're using baby oil. You can use vegetable, vegetable oil, oil, whatever oil you have just so that we can get the gelatin out after it's hardened in the fridge. So this is another, yep, yep. another reason why we're not eating this gelatin, okay? Do, do not, not eat. food. Do not eat it. All right, so I've mixed the cold water in. Miss Carolina's gotten our clay in and very carefully, again, maybe mom or dad can help, pour the gelatin into the funnel. So we have a little bit extra, so I'm not gonna do all of it. And now we are going to let this sit in the refrigerator for at least four hours. We'll probably come back to it tomorrow, see how it goes, and then we'll make an exploding gelatin volcano. We'll see you later. Bye. So we have our, our gelatin volcano has set up, but now we have to get it out of the funnel. So we're so. gonna try to take it out carefully. a little crater on the inside so that you can put your baking soda and your vinegar. So you yeah. can use a spoon for this and just kind of make a little hole. Nice. I guess I have to take that piece out. Yep. <laughs> okay. And then if you want to touch this you can because you're not eating it. That's there. Do you want to make it bigger? 
bigger. And then the only other things you need now are vinegar. So we just poured some in here. And baking soda. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our baking soda and we're gonna put it in the hole of the book. So you want about a tablespoon of baking soda. like a spoon to kind of get it into the little crater. Oh, it's all wibbly wobbly. It's jello. There we go. All right. And then you can dye your vinegar with whatever color you want. So I think red, don't you think? I it's think volcano, so. Volcano. So lava is red. It looks like lava. Ouch. looks pink to me, but we'll be fine. So I'm just going to add a bunch. To the vinegar. To the vinegar, right. All right, and then when you are ready, well, let's stir it a little yeah, bit. Maybe stir it. Just kind of so get a nice little mix there. Okay, and then when you are ready, would you like the honors, Miss Carolina? Sure. When you are ready, you pour your vinegar. Pour your vinegar in. And there's your exploding and volcano. And there's an exploding gelatin volcano. Now we're getting some really good bubbles. If you want to make more bubbles, you can always add dish detergent, um, like dishwashing soap to your vinegar. Um, if you're feeling adventurous, you can add coffee grounds so it looks like you've got debris shooting out of the volcano. Shooting out of your volcano. The jello does sort of the gelatin does make it look like there's rocky formations kind of going down. It's awesome. I think we need more baking soda. We might need more baking soda here. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you use that? Let's add a little bit more and see. Ooh, ooh, ooh! That's ooh. exciting. That's more vinegar. More vinegar. <laughs> that is awesome. We'll see you next time for more steam fun. Bye. Get 
Do we have a stabby thing for the bottom? Here, here. Oh, wait. Did we throw the spoon away? No, here's the spoon. Use the bottom and, yeah, and stab it out. There you go. Stab, stab, stab. Nope. It <laughs> Okay, so don't drink vinegar. Because apparently this is what it does to jello. 